today we're making tamales and uh, I lost the tooth so I talk a little um, different but it's everything's gonna be okay and we're gonna go to my uncle Jody I mean my auntie Jody's and my uncle John's what episode is this this is season one episode seven okay I'm John and uh, we were at my house here in Livermore. It's Christmas, or actually the week before Christmas 2022. And we're making uh, tamales with Lita. And uh, Jody. Jody, infamous Lita. And this is her recipe. And this is her, well, this is her disputed recipe. Okay. Sometimes she claims it, sometimes she doesn't. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna get started. It's gonna have, that's the masa. That's huge. For tamales. Okay. We're making probably about 120 of them. We already have like probably 50 or 60 in the refrigerator freezer. Okay. And this masa, you can make it from scratch. I'm sure Lita has in the past, but this we buy at the tortilla factory. Lots of Mexican markets have prepared masa. And then we add to the masa. And what are we adding? Corn. Out of a can, what of them? Todos. Okay. Okay. Oops. Don't want that in there. So besides just the canned corn, it's also creamed corn, sweet corn, cream style, I guess it is. Is it fifty percent cream and fifty percent regular corn? Yeah, pretty much. Except we gotta um, be very careful. This would not go well in the tamale. <sighs> Okay, so the basic ingredients that we like to use for Lita's recipe is, we're gonna make two different types of tamales today. We're gonna make chicken mole, and uh, we call rajas, which are just pasilla peppers and onions, and saute, uh, jack cheese, uh, canned corn, and a can of cream corn, baking soda, cottage cheese, Baking, baking powder. powder. Did I say baking powder? Baking powder. Um, and then you check and see if the if the if the masa itself it doesn't have enough, isn't seasoned properly, then we season it with garlic salt. Now, tamales generally they come from all different regions of Mexico or South America actually, and there's all different kinds. There's you know sweet tamales. There's tamales that they use banana leaves instead of corn husks. Um, so there's all different types of tamales. This just happens to be the ones that we were brought up with that we like and um, Basically, this is the ingredients that we that we use we have the husks that are soaking right now Don't come dry. And these Make are the husks. Soak. These are the husks that we use. We use corn husks. Mm -hmm. And so that's uh, the basic beginnings of our tamales. We already have our corn inside the masa, and so now the only thing left to put in here is gonna be the cottage cheese and the baking powder. And then we're gonna mix it up. And mixing it up, we do it by hand, and it's pretty messy, so it's about to get messy, so I think that we gotta prepare for some, for the mess that we're gonna make, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna get messy. <laughs> Cottage cheese is going in. And then the baking powder is going to be going in. Cuanto, cuanto baking powder, mamá? Hold on one second. Let's put, let's put the baking powder. Esto de seguro todo esto, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Y tenemos otro. Un poquito de eso. Like that. Like that? Like that, like that. Like that, like that. Okay, um, so the most, and this is probably the hardest part because you just gotta mix it. You gotta get in there and, and, and get messy. And we do it by hand, like I said. And then when it comes to rolling the tamales, we kind of recruit 
all the family members okay. because we're gonna make a lot. There's 15 pounds of masa here. We're probably gonna. We're probably gonna have like I don't know 120 to 130 tamales that we make. And so, like I said, we recruit everybody in the family. Patty just showed up. My sister Patty just showed up. And. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get started. Because we need rollers. We need tamale we need rollers. Gotta have tamale rollers. Right, so my hands, I wash my hands, everything's clean. I just washed mine. No, I, don't, I think we're gonna wait on the last of the cottage right. cheese and we'll see how, how it turns out Perfect. for me, okay? So let's get the spoon out of here. Okay, baby. Okay, and then basically, here we go. Esta receta. Me la dio mi madrina de matrimonio, es la esposa de Joselo y Joselo. Ella me dio la receta, viene de Los Ángeles y nos gustó y la hemos seguido haciendo así. Oh, welcome Laura, Laura's here. My sister Laura just showed up. An extra pair of hands. An extra pair of hands. I didn't know this was going on, but walked into a great surprise. Awesome, I'll learn something. Okay, so uh, Lita is right now, the husk, they've been soaking for probably about 40 minutes now, maybe close to an hour. And um, right now she's just taking them out, rinsing them, make sure that she gets all the little impurities. These corn husks tend to come with these little long like strands, almost like a thick hair kind of a thing, like this right here. Corn silk? Is that what it's called? Corn I don't silk? Know. I'm not even sure. I just make that up. <laughs> okay. But um, she's just kind of cleaning them up and taking them out of the water and putting them in a bowl so that uh, we can get ready to start rolling. Get ready to roll. Ready to roll. This is all we roll. This is all we Yeah. Okay, so um, we're dividing up the masa into different little stations. Otherwise, we're going to be working over the top of each other. So we're putting it in smaller bowls, kind of spreading it out, making our workstations ready to go. And uh, we're getting ready to roll. And uh, this is how we roll. And it's gonna be chicken mole. Now, keep in mind also that this has all been prepared uh, beforehand. Um, my mom made the, made the chicken mole and the raja. She prepared those a couple of days ago in anticipation of getting uh, everything rolled out. So um, yeah, we're ready to go. Okay, so the, the chicken mole is, um, you can look up the recipe for the mole sauce in our previous video that Lita, did, that Lita made. You just add um, more but chicken. You just gotta add more chicken, so it's a little, you know, a little more dense for the tamales. Um, the rajas is um, basically pasilla peppers, fresh pasilla peppers, onions, and um, you throw a few fresh tomatillos in there and you saute it in oil until they soften up a bit. Not too much because they're still gonna cook in, in, in the tamales themselves. And we're gonna do um, the rajas with jack cheese. So jack cheese, rajas tamales, and chicken mole tamales, two different ones. Okay, one ingredient I forgot to mention is, is cotija cheese, the Mexican cheese. And it's uh, kind of flaky and it has a nice saltiness to it. And so we sprinkle that on the tamales as we go and that gives it a nice added flavor. What are we doing here? We're spreading it about a spoonful, a, a large, yeah, a large spoonful in the tamale. Your, the type of meat that you want. Así, ¿no? Might be some in the cake. Yeah. Así. Cake Ajá, un poquito más extendido. Back para acá. No, no mucho. Este no. Más. ¿Mm? Está bien. Un poquito más en este. Y así. Y luego así. Ya tú es experto en este. <laughs> así está sí. bien. Okay. Sí. So why don't we just spread these and then somebody does This is okay now. tamales with rajas. This so these are with the peppers. Y queso. With cheese. Uh, two types of cheese. John, what kind of cheese is this? We have jack cheese and we have cotija. Cotija. You sprinkle cotija this. and then 
There you go. Like that. That's it. And that's how we roll. Yep. Patty's rolling we... again. Oh, what happens? Is it okay if you get one with a crack in the middle? <laughs> Is it louder? <laughs> it's supposed to be like this. They're separated in different bags. The red sauce and the green sauce, and we freeze them until they're ready to be steamed. Okay, and so we got all our tamales rolled up. Um, the next thing that we'll do is we'll get them in the tamale pan. We'll steam them for about 45 minutes to an hour, roughly. It's important to let them sit for a good 20 to 30 minutes after you steam them so that they firm up, otherwise, if you take them right out of the steamer, they're still a little gooey. Could you do them frozen, or do they have to be thawed? You could you could take these right to the freezer and freeze them, and then take them out as you want to steam them and get them ready for a different event. And it's the same 40 minutes? Yeah, same thing. Okay. So, well, thaw them, and then 40 minutes. So you okay. You have to thaw? You don't, no. Do you yeah. thaw them, Lita? No. Mm -hmm. No, you don't thaw them. Cuando, oh, sorry. Los con velas para hacerlos. You don't, you don't have to thaw them, but you should probably take uh, steam them for a little bit longer, obviously, because yes. they've got to get unsteamed, yes. right? I mean, unthawed. Okay, okay so hang on, hang on. So, Lita, when you cook your frozen tamales, you take them out of the freezer, do you let them sit for a while, or you put them right in the water? You just... In the steam. steam. I mean, in the steam. Yeah, right. don't like it. Make sure they're apart? Yes. Yeah. Set. No Good. tienes que defrost it. No, no, se no, no, sin no, 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 okay. But they oh, obviously will take a little bit longer because they're frozen. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So anyways, um, <laughs> now that I'm totally confused. So after you steam them, um, they're ready to go. And so that's, esta es mi familia. I didn't help. <laughs>